All right, so here we go. Oh, there you go. Um, so I used this OSFO on this panel to neutralize the rust. And so it's been at least 48 hours. And so here's what I want you to see. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me put a glove on. So you can probably already see down in here, it looks a little bit orange. So we're gonna uncover that and see. So what this does is it neutralizes the rust. Well, some of this is pretty deeply pitted. So as I was talking about before, just because you think you got it, it looks like it's turned black and you can see it looks pretty good. It's, you know, done its job for sure on these areas. But where you get into this deep stuff, I still see a little bit of orange coming through and I, I coated this really well. So what I'm gonna do is kind of just pick at this a little bit and see if I can't get some orange to scrape up. See if it's orange underneath that black. Because like I assumed before on my other panel, and it is, <clears throat> this is gonna, this is gonna, whatever it comes into contact with, like this light stuff here, it's gone, it's done. You just scrape that right off. Hopefully my camera's showing. Yeah, it looks like it is. So, that's gone. The orange is, there's no orange under there, so it's, it's neutralized the rust. But in some of these deeper pitting areas, it's, it's still there. It just neutralized the top of the rust. So it just, however much I put on, it soaked into the top of the rust and it didn't go all the way down into the pit. So that's something to maybe be aware of when you're doing this. And so what I need to do is go over this again with, um, well, I need to get down to into the pit. So I probably need to go over this with a wire wheel real quick, get some of this off and then re ospho it. Uh, before I neutralize it and wash it with warm wa warm soapy water to finish it completely before it gets either you can either leave it like this you can, or you can sandblast it final uh, or you can 80 grit it on whatever whatever you want to do to tooth it that's what you can do this is supposed to leave a tooth like a chemical which doesn't make sense to me I know it's a chemical but it etches the metal so when you wash this off you're gonna have an etch, like a rough area that the, the, the epoxy is supposed to adhere to. So it seems like more of a mechanical, just because it chemically etched it, it's still a mechanical, it's grabbing it mechanically because you're washing all the, you know, the acid off. It's not grabbing to the acid. And that's the key, I think, is to clean, make, make sure you clean all this acid off here. But, now this looks good. As I get over to here, I see a little bit of orange. So yeah, a little orange under there. This orange starts here and goes all the way across here. So very likely it just didn't get all the way down in there. Let's see here. Yeah, it looks a little orange still in, in, to me in that. I don't know if that's picking that up. But again, it turns it black, so if you just assume, if you go, oh, well, it's it's neutralized everything, everything's good, and then you coat it, well, there's a couple of thoughts on that, too. Let me throw them out there. One thought is your rust is still under there, and it's still eating down into the metal. The other thought is kind of like what we call the fire triangle, or the fire tetrahedron in, in firefighting. If you take one of the elements away, you take heat away, if you take air, uh, you know, oxygen away, whatever, it kills it. So the same is supposed to be on this. And what this is, basically, this is oxidation. It's the same as fire. Fire is just a, a faster oxidation. So if I understand this correctly, if you take oxygen away from this, that rust can't continue to grow because it, it it's you're basically taking one of the elements it needs away it needs 
moisture, it needs air, and it needs, you know, and then the iron that it mixes with or whatever. So a lot of people will say that's why they like the 415, because what you're doing is you're, you're spraying acid on it, you're neutralizing the rust, and then you're encapsulating it with that coating of whatever it is, and then that's supposed to take the oxygen away from the rust to where it can't it can't do any more damage. It just pretty much stops, if I understand correctly. The, unless the acid goes all the way through it, neutralizes it, because they're using phosphoric acid just like I am. It's the same stuff. But that's how Pour 15 works. There's got, there's some kind of a cleaner. They've got a, they've got the phosphoric acid. Then there's some kind of a, a cleaner that goes along with that. And then once you do that, you just go back over it with a paintbrush and paint it all black. Um, <clears throat> some people say that's a band aid. Some people say it doesn't work. Some people say their Pour 15 is just peeled off and cheesed with rust underneath it still. Um, I don't know. I haven't had that. I don't use Pour 15, I haven't, uh, may be fantastic, but I know that if I want this eradicated, I need to do it manually, pull it off here, make sure my rust, or make sure my, my metal looks like this right here, which is clean, clean metal. So once I get all this wire wheeled up, I'll hit it again try to neutralize the rust deep down in the pit, scrape it, make sure none of it's in there. And then I could either go back and sandblast it, I can go back and do any of the stuff I just already repeated. So, well, I think for the main thing I just want to show you guys is just because it turns black don't mean it's gone, okay? So you may have to do this a couple of times to make sure all of it is, is gone. The good thing now is I can take my wire wheel and I can come back over all the black and just knock that black off and see what's left. And if there's orange under there, which there clearly is, I can just hit it again. Hopefully it goes down into the pits far enough. But that's this is way, way overkill, I know. Um, but it's just me trying to study uh, to find the best possible way to eradicate the rust on these older parts. Obviously, I'd like to keep as much of this Camaro as I can, original, but I think I'm a little past that at this point because so much of it was damaged and rusted. Um, so this is kind of where I'm at with it. I thought I'd show you guys this. And like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and wire wheel this, clean it up again, and uh, Probably put some more also down on this to clean this orange stuff down in here to make sure I get it all out of them pits. All right, guys, see you. All right, so here's what we got. <clears throat> Just going back over this little disc, knocking the black off that. I don't know if you how well you can hear me, but you can you can see how orange that is. So that's what I'm talking about underneath. Oh, this stuff here, the surface rust, absolutely, it's, it's just, it's doing a great job right there. But again, in these deep pits, that's what I wanted to show you. That's why I went over it and got as much rust as I could off to begin with. I figured that's what's going to happen. Yeah, it's orange. Oh, that ain't going dead. Using air tools, sometimes I do, especially when I'm outside, but it just makes a lot of noise and it cleans a lot of stuff where this doesn't clean it as bad. Don't throw these away because this right here, uh, 
was one at one point was this. So you get them to where they're small and they get into smaller areas like I'm getting now, but those big ones are not gonna be able to get into those little areas. So yeah, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Now, if I'd have just coated that, Maybe it, maybe it wouldn't have gone any farther, but then maybe it would. You know, it's one of those deals like, okay, uh, if you take the oxygen away, does that, does that do it? Maybe. But when my metal is nice and clean and shiny like this, then I know it's gone. All right, so... This is been re -osphoed. It's sat for 48 hours, probably more. I scrubbed on it, scrubbed on it, scrubbed on it, wire brushed it, did everything trying to get, because as you've seen in the last part of that video, this all just kept coming back orange underneath the black. It wasn't penetrating deep enough. So I am going to, I reactivated it. Now I'm gonna wash it with warm soapy water and the scrubby pad. Hopefully this will take all the acid off of it. That's what they say you're supposed to do. Now this is hot water, I brought it in from, and you can see that turning orange right there. That rust is not, it's just not dead. Uh, as much acid as I put on this, and it's still coming back orange. And I know a lot of people will say, well, you know, that's, you're supposed to paint over that. Well, if you find something that plays well with that, uh, a paint that plays well with that, then that's great. Then do exactly that, paint right on over it. But I can't with the epoxy that I have. So that's the dilemma for me. I'm gonna go over this a couple more good times. Make sure I got all of it. And then I'll tell you what I'm going to do, likely, is I am going to blast. So I'm going to go ahead and dry this, get it all cleaned up, um, and then I'm going to sandblast it. After all that, I know, uh, as you can see, it's just, I mean, that's just not, it's just not doing what it needs to do. Not for me. So... One more time, good measure. All right, that's that. Now I'm going to take the clean water, hot, clean, hot water. I'm trying to get, keep this from tarnishing up too bad. It's kind of the goal with this water and I don't have hot water in my shop and I kicked around getting a hot water tank and I thought man it cost me four or five hundred bucks how often am I going to use it I would like to have hot water to wash my hands but for now let's just do this Nice having this little grate here. Uh, I could run water down into, be inside. It's pretty nice. 
All right. I think that should be pretty good. And especially the fact that I'm sandblasting it after this should be perfect. So now, according to Shears Customs, you don't want to blow this off necessarily. Uh, you want to dry it off and then blow it off. So I got this clean dry towel here to knock the big stuff off. And then I will take it over and blow it the rest of the way off. Uh, that piece that I did quite a bit of, a while ago, it still looks identical. It hadn't surface rusted, flash rusted, anything like that. So it looks really good. But again, that got blasted. It got all kinds of stuff. Well, it got blasted first, then it got 80 gridded, then it got osphoed. It got, it's got ridiculous is what it got. And that's part of my problem is I get so ridiculous that I end up taking so long to make a decision on what's gonna be the best process. And that's my, that's just my, the way I do it. I'm trying to work on that so I can get some stuff done. So now we'll dry that off with air the rest of the way. And it should be ready to blast. See that orange in there? That's why I'm gonna blast it. All right, so for me, I'm gonna say that the Ospo works great as long as it's only surface rust. Um, because if you got deep pitting, it's not gonna work. Or at least that's my opinion. Uh, because it just doesn't go deep enough down into the uh, pour. Now, there is a deal, that I think I talked about this already, it's supposed to exclude the oxygen. But like these pits here, I'm gonna have to blast that. They're just, I just, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get gonna end up being just like that part right there and I either I replace that you know because I just can't have it so yeah there's that I'll kick my blaster outside and sandblast this and then I'll bring it back in what I like to do is probably different than a lot of people do I'm sorry my, about my compressor um, I take isopropyl alcohol after I blast it and I just let it, I soak it down, let it run off of it. And then I take high pressure air and dry it really well with that high pressure air. Cause you don't want to run a cloth like that because when you sandblast it, it's going to grab that cloth and pull that lint and everything off onto your cloth. So you don't want to do that. So I just soak it down good with isopropyl. It starts to evaporate pretty quickly because of the alcohol and then dry it off really well and then it's ready for primer um, so that's probably what i'm gonna do looks like i missed a spot here maybe no that's just some of that leftover rust it just man i've been scrubbing on this thing for a couple days now and it just wasn't having it and that sucks because you can still see it so, all right guys.